morning everyone! It sure is a very good morning because look who decided to join us. It's brother son, finally. After a few days of rain, which is logical for the summer, he finally is shining! I'm so happy! Finally! Yes! Oh, I missed this! Mm -mm. I hope he'll stay a few days with us before another showering time will come because we had a few of those the last few days and just look at the sky look at that beauty wow beauty beauty well there's still a few clouds around but wow yeah wow i can't stop saying that it's summer not really but it's summer for at least one day in korea yay Anyway, so, a little update about me. Haven't seen you for a week or so. Been really busy, real busy, very productive. Well, half of the way. The weekend wasn't productive because it was raining. Ha! It rained. Cats and dogs, it poured again. <coughs> Saturday and Sunday. So what have we done? Nothing. <laughs> no, I have done something. I've been productive in other ways in the still ways. <laughs> now I've been resting a lot and I've been reading. Yeah, I've been reading. Oh, I love reading. If you guys don't know about me, I love reading. Um, I meant to say, if you don't know that about me, that specific detail. Yeah, I'm trying to concentrate on walking and talking at the same time, which can't do very well. So, uh, yeah, I love reading and I've been doing that the whole weekend. I finished, <coughs> I think in a week, three week, uh, three books, I'm sorry, um, and that I feel like I've been productive in that sense, because I've learned a lot of things and I haven't been reading in a long time. Anyway, uh, aside from that, the rest of the days which were productive in other ways, as in moving and doing things and creating and changing things, a lot has happened. And today is the last day of my work in Pangyo, in the Pangyo area, where I worked for one year. So Pangyo was kind of like a home to me for one year. And this is my last day. I'm going there right now. I'm walking and talking. And I'm going to take a short break because I'm going to take the elevator up. And then I'm going to update you on what's going on right now in my life. Okay? See you in a bit. Okay, and I'm back. So, here's how it's rolling right now. I hope you can hear me well, because we're on a bridge and it's very noisy. Uh, speak loud. So, as I said, today is my last day in Pangyo, where I work for a family with two kids for a whole year. Our contract is finished because they're moving out. They're leaving Korea tomorrow. They're moving to Bali. And I'm left alone. <laughs> no, I'm not. Anyway, when uh, I got the news that they're leaving, I was pretty shocked and a bit sad. Uh, not so much because they're leaving, because I knew they would be leaving Monday, but it's just it came suddenly because I didn't expect them to leave so soon. They said they would be staying for a while, and they also said they like it here. Anyway, and then uh, also I was shocked because there's not much time for me left. My visa is running out in a couple of weeks. Although they did tell me one month uh, in notice, but still, it's still a short time for me to figure out what I'm gonna do next. And so, um, yeah, I got over the shock, I got up, I was a bit sad and emotional, I'm better now. Uh, I asked for some prayer from different people and it really helped to pick me up. It really helped to pick me up emotionally and keep going and not give up because I almost gave up I was a bit too sad okay and then um, so right now uh, jobs are piling up not piling I'm, I'm, I'm exaggerating they're lining up that's what I meant <laughs> and yeah so I've been to an interview on Saturday which went uh, well I've been praying for a job like that. I'm not going to tell you yet what it is. 
it's just exactly what I prayed for and I, I need it. I think it's coming through slowly. They contacted me last night, so that's a good a good news. So now we're just trying to figure out how it will go next. Um, I mean, I'm going to need to run probably to one of the embassies around Korea. Not sure yet where. I would prefer to go to Japan because it's very close by. And um, I also have a friend there in Osaka. So if I can possibly go to Osaka to do my visa run there, that would be great. Now, until we get to that point, we need to prepare uh, all kinds of papers from my side, from the employer side, and yeah, there's a lot of logistics and a lot of stuff going on. Anyway, that's beside that, so I'm gonna be needing a lot of energy for that and a lot of focusing, and I'm gonna need a lot of prayer there for that too, so I can focus to get everything done in time. And then I'm gonna need prayers to be able to do everything in time and everything to work out fine. But I think it'll be okay. But anyways, prayers will still be uh, good and appreciated. If any of you has time and thinks about me, just shoot up for me a little prayer for things to work out in time so I don't have to... Because the thing is, my alien registration cards also expired on the 11th of September and I need to be done with my visa process in Japan before that so I can give the visa to the immigration office here before the alien registration card expires. So that's quite tight. <laughs> but I still hope and I believe it's possible. Anyways, and aside from that, if all that works out, which will, um, have another interview tomorrow morning for a Korean family, which will be just part-time. Hope it goes well and hope the family is nice and the salary will be okay. And if all that goes well as well, then it's perfect. Then we got a pretty new, brand new life from September on. And hopefully I'll have also more time for myself and for other things, for hobbies and for uh, visiting places and visiting friends and spending time with friends which I haven't had that much lately so I've been kind of complaining about that and I've been wanting to change that and look things are changing even if I didn't want to change things looks like life is still answering and saying hey you wanted this you know you complain about it so now here it is so I got a kick in the ass you know to move forward and change things even though I was reluctant to change things although I knew things weren't working so well anyway so now that's what happens with me there's a lot to think about and a lot going on and a lot to prepare but it's good it's good stuff right I think you might not hear me now anymore I'm gonna pause for a bit So now we're gonna finish up today with moving. Um, his family is leaving tomorrow and they're packing. Yesterday the company, the moving company came and packed everything. And today they're just gonna take everything out of the truck. So I'm just gonna do the last things today. And then probably today or tomorrow, I'm not sure yet, uh, I'm gonna say goodbye to the girls. And I'm gonna let them leave to their new life, to their new chapter and I'm going to be closing my chapter and studying a new one and they're excited I'm excited because I know things, good things will come okay, logistics, logistics not easy to do this while while walking okay, it's got quieter here what are you doing? what are you doing? What are you doing? My phone is stopping. That's not good. Please don't stop. Because you're going to kill my video. And I've been talking. And I've been explaining too much for that. Alright, so we're going to go finish up today. Say goodbye to the girls. And yes, I'm pulling a little cart behind me. I'll show it to you because I'm going to fill it up later today. Where is it? There you go. The girls might leave some stuff behind and they asked me to bring a little bag or something 
to bring home in case they can't take stuff, which will probably happen. I already took quite a few things yesterday. Alright, thank you door for opening. Oh, my arm is dying. The one that I'm holding my phone with. Oh yeah, and I'm also super tired. Uh, yesterday I got home around 8 p.m. Then I have to do a couple of things on the computer to prepare because last night, um, actually, yeah, last night I guess, but morning basically, here at 3 a.m. I had to wake up because there was this prayer call and, or meditation call for everyone around the world. Um, people are gathering together to meditate and pray together for the human for humanity, for peace and for love and harmony and unity around the globe and so I wanted to be part of it. I haven't done anything like this before but it's pretty cool. So I got home, I prepared for that, I got in bed around 10.30 or so and then I woke up at 3. I did the meditation which is so hard in the beginning to concentrate and then I don't know how it happened, 15 minutes passed really fast. I thought it would take really long. It just took, it felt really long the first few minutes, but then afterwards I was like, what, it's over, it's already finished? Wow, that was fast. Anyway, that was really inspiring and good, and I was happy to be part of it. And then I tried to go back to sleep, because I thought, okay, I need a little more sleep. That was not enough, and guess what, I couldn't sleep. I tossed and turned around till like five, and then I was like, okay, I gave up. My stomach was hurting, my tummy was hurting, I was hungry, I, my tummy was hurting, everything was like, okay, forget it, I'm not gonna sleep anymore. So I just got up, finished my book, and um, got ready, and I left. I ate the sandwich on the way, drank some coffee, I'm okay right now, I'm energized, but I don't know for how long. So it's gonna be a tough day today. My body will feel probably really tired. Anywho, um, so yeah, that's what it is. We'll see how it goes today and tomorrow. We'll keep you briefed. I think I'll get back to you in another two or three days with the updates and let you know how things went out, worked out, <coughs> and went. And then I hope you guys can pray for me and keep me in your thoughts. I hope you're watching this vlog. I just said blog, and then vlog. A guy with the bike distracted me, and he came out blog instead of vlog. Okay, so if you guys like this, please subscribe, please like, send me a comment, anything. You can just say hey, and that's it. And I know that you've watched, and I'll see you soon. Bye, guys. Have a good day. Love you. Zen out.